I love animals and I and especially around Christmas. I I think they're so fun. So just trying to come up with something Christmassy. And these guys were so cute, but they're really not Christmassy. And so I said, Three kings, we aren't, but we bring you gifts of friendship and love. And it's my husband and myself and our dog. And so that's the three of us um, as camels. I think atmosphere is really important, whether it's the time of day or the sounds. I know it's hard to capture the sounds in a painting, but sometimes there's a quiet, there's a solitude or there's a bunch of noise, whether it's water rushing, those things are inspirational, trying to portray those in a two-dimensional art piece. I usually paint between 5.30 and 7.30 in the morning, and that way nobody interrupts. I can just sit here with a cup of coffee and paint. One of my big loves is old trucks and tractors. And so anytime I can find an old truck that's resting, I don't want it restored, I want it resting, I, I like to paint that, I like to capture it. They're, they're beautiful, they're hardworking things that are usually not working anymore. My husband's told me that he doesn't want anything hanging on the walls unless I did it. And so all of the paintings that you'll see on my walls are paintings that I have done. And there's watercolors, there's oils and pastels. Um, and I've also been told that I don't seem to stick to a certain subject. And I have everything from horses to old people to trucks and tractors, landscapes and red rock. The face that you saw there is a technique where I combine watercolor over oil and it's a technique where I splash oil into water and it separates like oil and water would and then when it dries it creates these wonderful textures. And there are times I can't wait to get up and go paint that something happens and especially if there's a project I'm working on and I have to stop because the day has begun. I have to stop painting and, and it'll spin in my mind and spin at night and I come in and just grab it and go. It's kind of exciting to have something in process 